Thank you. I guess for Gina, I get your extra two minutes. <laughs> but we'll just give Magic 15. <laughs> First of all, I want to congratulate all the inductees and their families because I know what this means to me. Uh, I've been on the grow up in a small town and really never looking further than trying to be a star on my high school basketball team. And uh, I don't know what the hell happened after that, but it just kept going. And 30 years later, I'm still involved in it. But, uh, you know, every time I come into a building and sit, uh, a rim hanging up, I always remember my wife, Dinah. We had a home in Florida, and we built it, and we put a basketball goal right by the front door. And there's a guy over working one day. He said, I usually don't see this very often in Florida, have a basketball go right by the front door. She goes, honey, wouldn't for that basketball go there, we would be living in this house. <laughs> and she was a pretty good rebounder, too. And, uh, until she broke her nail on the third day, and that was the end of that. But, uh, you know, making it this far in your career, you have to have a lot of luck, and you also have to have a lot of people that's behind you. And uh, I was very fortunate at a young age to have a lot of great coaches that taught me the fundamentals, uh, showed me how to, uh, to pass, shoot the ball the proper way, and, and it just opened the doors for me to improve my game and, and move on. And, and after high school, I had an opportunity to go to college, and, and I want to thank Indiana State for at least give me an opportunity to try to get a degree, a degree which I finally did. But, uh, uh, and, and playing basketball, a game I love at the same time. And there's some uh, folks here from uh, Terre Haute, Indiana State tonight. And I had a blast in college, I'm sure they can attest to that. So, uh, but um, as you go on this journey of life, you look back and reflect on things, and uh, it, it's just it's been a great ride. Uh, it's been competitive, it's all about winning, uh, I try to do my best to, to compete in every game, and you know the next guy's going to come up here. I'll probably say something about our competition along the way. And you couldn't have a better guy to compete against year after year after year. A uh, young man that not only took his game to another level, but helped me get mine there. So thank you, Irvin. And uh, this is just a great honor for me. And thank you very much. Including our class of 2009, please welcome Irvin Magic Johnson. Well, first of all, I want to say God is so good, and what a blessing it is to be here, to be with these incredible young men who have given so much to the game of basketball, uh, not just college basketball, but to the game of basketball as a whole. Little kid growing up in Lansing, Michigan, who would ever thought that uh, the school I always wanted to go to, I was, used to sneak into the games to see Terry Furlow and some of the guy, Vinnie White at Michigan State University. And uh, thank God they never caught me sneaking in. But uh, then when Pete Cole came to Michigan State after replacing a guy who I really loved, and, uh, Gus Kanakis, um, young man pulled me aside and said, Judd can really coach and you need to go there. And when I looked up and, and saw that uh, he was right, I knew that was a school for me, even though I already loved the green and white already, and they didn't have to sell me too much. Judd helped me become a better basketball player, more disciplined player, as well as a, a player that uh, um, was really about winning. Um, I've always wanted to, to get better, and every every day, Judd pushed me to be better. And he never uh, let me give an excuse. He always was on me about every day, look to improve. So, I, who could have ever thought that we would go in together to the Hall of Fame, and uh, I just thank God that finally they recognized one of the best coaches in college basketball. So, Coach, I say thank you today for everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sorry that Wendy couldn't be here. Um, nobody could tell who had the biggest smile, whether it was Wayman or I. And, uh, I loved him. We used to work out together, and his wife really represents him and the family very well but we had a lot of good times together. And then, you know, of course, 
Larry, what could I say? Uh, I think that uh, Indiana State and Michigan State put the, the madness in March. And uh, uh, he, he made me a better college player, he made me a better NBA player, and not just that, he made me a better man. So I'm just happy that I had somebody that always was about raising a bar. And so that made me go out. I knew he was shooting a thousand shots a day, so I had to shoot a thousand shots a day. So thank you, Larry, for always pushing me to be even better. And um, here we are together, man, in the Hall of Fame. It took him long enough, though, but that <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then at the end, I want to thank the city of Kansas City. Uh, you didn't know this, but um, in 1978, I came here because Joe Appleson called me and wanted to draft me number one with the Kings. So I flew to Kansas City and I met with Joe, uh, I should say Joe, and we sat down and he offered me 200,000 for six years. Uh, if my father had been there, he would have made me accept the money, but I'm glad he wasn't there. Uh, but uh, I decided to go back to school because I knew we had some unfinished business and I took the barbecue though. And, uh, <laughs> but I enjoyed myself, but I wasn't ready to turn pro, and uh, I decided to go back, and I'm glad I did, because we ended up winning the championship, but uh, that was my time uh, in Kansas City. But I also want to thank Coach Izzo at Michigan State already, one of my great mentors that I met at Michigan State. That's why I'm a business man today. I see him sitting here, Joel Ferguson. Uh, Greg is here, I want to thank him too. And then I saw these pair of jeans walk past me one day at Michigan State. And I said, wow, the jeans look really good. <laughs> and uh, I never looked at her face, I just saw the jeans. <laughs> and, uh, then I looked up and said, oh wow, I gotta have her. And uh, I met my wife, Cookie, at Michigan State. And like Larry, uh, Cookie could rebound because that's what our day used to be in the gym. And um, here we are, 30 years later, still together in terms of uh, having a great family. So thank you, honey, for supporting me all these years. So God bless everybody. Thank you for having us.